Hi, I'm Eric Rosner, mechanical engineer at Chemtech Services Incorporated. This video is here to show you how to rebuild your wiper basket for your KDT, KDL, or Mini 5 unit. I'm going to show you all the different parts that you'll need and tools that you'll need to rebuild your wiper basket. Here are the tools and parts that you will need box of nitro gloves, your lower wiper basket hub, your upper wiper basket hub, 18 fresh rollers, your wiper basket nuts, a 10 millimeter wrench, a half inch standard wrench, a knife, some scotch bright, and a surface gauge usually used by machinists, easy enough to find anywhere on eBay, Amazon, or where you need. First thing you do is take one roller and your knife and cut it right in half. Next, you start distributing your rollers onto your uh, studs here. You start with one, one half of your cut one and build up. Take your other halved roller and put it on the top. Now, you're set here. Take your nuts, three of them. Put them all the way down the threads. Take your top hub, place it under your studs. And take your other nuts, screw those on also. Now, typically, take your scotch bright, try and clean off any residue that's been left over. You can also clean the rods or the studs when you need. Make sure that the inner ring here is clean. And we're going to tighten down our 10 millimeter. Alright, now that our assembly is all set, we're going to make sure that our jam nut is up on the shaft, and we're going to screw on our wiper basket. All the way until it bottoms out. We then take our half inch wrench. We tighten the jam nut down onto the wiper basket. 
nice and tight. Next, we've set up our surface gauge on the inner ring of the wiper basket on the bottom hub. We spin the wiper basket so that the surface gauge touches only when it's at the closest point. So for a better view, I'll show you here in a second. As you can see, as I spin the wiper basket, the surface gauge comes off of the ring. This is an unbalanced wiper basket. Next we take our 10 millimeter wrench and we tighten and loosen the bottom and top nuts so that the surface gauge can run smoothly along the inner ring of the wiper basket. That will make it true. Yeah, I see. 